but um, you can see this where you're talking. But I, I wanted to, I wanted to come down here and watch a little bit of history, even if I don't. Uh, myself necessarily agree with his ideals and his values. It's still history. It's still happening. It still affects the world we live in. And I was told that because I don't know if it was because of how I look. I'm not gonna say it's because of how we look or you know whatever. But something there, they didn't like us, and I guess we look like troublemakers. How did they know you were Obama um, supporters? They didn't. They had no idea. Well, what did they? Did they get a reason or what did they, they say? Just to said say that we they thought that we looked like we were gonna cause problems. You looked like you were gonna cause yep. problems. Nobody had like I have a paddle now that that uh, a friend of mine's mom I saw when I got out gave me, but I didn't have uh -huh. that. My friend Michelle didn't have her pin. She took her pin off when she went inside. It was an Obama pin. So you were so we were neutral. Fair. Nobody we were... knew, you know. Nobody knew anything. We weren't like I said. We weren't jeering anybody. We weren't being impolite. And we just yeah, me and him have long hair, but he was asked to leave too, and he's got short hair, you know. And she's. You know, like, we're just as normal as anybody else yeah. in there. Yeah, so you can't put, it's hard to put your finger on what exactly they actually picked out to... to we're not exactly if it, it was us entirely as well, because I have a group of friends who you can say were dressed differently, but they are the, they were dressed themselves. They weren't being uh, out of the park in any way. They were actually just telling everybody that they wanted straight up what his opinion was and what he thought he was going to do and all this and that. And they didn't do anything talking amongst themselves. I got escorted out shortly after us. God, it's nuts. That's I'm not at the sure same that time. I'm not, at, well, yeah, yeah, at the same the time. The Republicans got sent out right after we did. So yeah, three groups that group all had, like, that don't really know each other. Except that he, he knew a couple of the, the other kids. And uh -huh. I think because he was talking to them, they connected them to us and then the people sitting next to us, the McCain supporters, to us. So it's just like, I, I don't know. Paranoia. Yeah, I mean. So you guys, I uh, understand you got kicked out because you were associating with non-McCain supporters? Yes, that is correct. Um, and you're wearing I'm, McCain Palin shirts? Yes, yeah, so yep. I go to Venice High School. Uh -huh. I'm actually a member of the Republican Club there. I'm also a member of the Republican Club in Sarasota County. I'm a registered warden, I'm a voter for the Republican Party. And look at your shirt here, I guess uh, you're kind of, yeah, you're, you're not shy about you. At least supported up until about an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> no, I am no. still, I'm still for John McCain. What they've done, it doesn't change my vote. You're just you against know. what the people did. And Same with everyone here. You're, you're still, you're still McCain, McCain supporter. Still yep. McCain supporter. Okay. John McCain is the right decision. Okay. What, what is it? Basically, with the shirt. Oh, come with me. Oh, I love you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, I'm staking my job on this. I will. Guys, I think we have a second chance at Guys, just hang out. I feel like my face is turning red. Sorry. Guys, please. I, I, I know why you don't do this. Put your hands in this. I, I, I'm, I'm, sh come on. I'm about to have like this perfect episode. Come on, come on. Come on, John McCain. John McCain. John McCain. John McCain. One, two, John McCain. Hoorah! I can't write this stuff. Seriously, guys. I'm really glad that that their system is going to work. Yes. It really makes me proud. See, I'm very glad. Because that gentleman promised me that he would stake everything to get me back and taking anything. So I'm very proud of that.